of learning both hands, not just simply the Sinawali combinations where the left hand, in the case of a righty, follows the right hand, but where the left hand can be moving in a manner all of its own. This is going to be important when we get to empty hand and stick grappling range for good Sinawali, for good double stick fighting skills. And just for now, we're going to say that we believe that this is important. However, it would be tedious in the tape to first demonstrate the combination with the right and then to demonstrate it with the left. So when you practice at home, Benjamin's going to be doing combination number one right now. I'll be practicing with the television, watching my video. But then when I want to practice left hand, I simply do the same thing like this. So I can be using the video to practice both hands, one at a time, of course, even though the video is only demonstrating one hand. This is combination number one in the Lameco system of Escrima. Very simply, we're going to be having this cross-step motion with our foot like this. Remember, the hip does not turn, the hip stays forward. And as we do that, we come from the forehand position and we hammer down. We're hammering the nail. We're not reaching out like this, we are hammering down. The left hand is moving in a counterweight motion. This keeps our balance natural and our movement more efficient. Notice that the tip does not drop below the hand. The tip should stay higher than the hand. If we should screw up somehow, keep the motion, the rhythm of the body continuing, and then restore the motion of your stick. Just going to do a few repetitions here so that you can practice along and make sure that you get this motion. This is an important motion. It looks simple, but most good fighters spend a lot of time cultivating good motions, simple motions, learning to do them well. This, we believe, is one of the important ones. Mm. 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 The next motion is basically the same thing, but instead of a forehand vertical drop, it is a backhand vertical drop. Mm. Mm. Notice the turn of the shoulders to give emphasis. When you practice this motion, you can practice with different weight sticks, different diameters. Make sure that you're comfortable with all motions, all weights, all sizes. Mm. Again, the left hand, counterweight. Mm. Mm. In this combination, there's two strikes. The footwork remains the illustrissimo cross step. So in the white make on number three, horizontal jab, horizontal jab, and redondo. Forehand jab, forehand redondo. Forehand jab, forehand redondo. Now many people, when they do the forehand strike, the tip and the hand are at different heights. To get maximum effect here, martial arts secret, we want to have the tip and the hand at the same height. So as we come here, we just pull down like this. This gives us a very efficient transition from the horizontal jab to the forehand redondo. So as we're here, we're moving around. Mm, 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 mm. The left hand should be moving. Many people, when they first learn, are doing something like this, what we call the limp left hand. They have it flapping around back here. We call this one the Errol Flynn. And other people have the hand frozen, what we call the polio hand. Our preference is that the left hand be moving, mm, like this. This is one of your most important motions in fighting. 
like this.